guys welcome back to another build video on my channel this build was supposed to be a build of a starter home i keep trying to build a starter home but i keep failing the prices always keep going up because i am so bad at managing money especially in the sims so instead of building a starter home i decided to just do a tiny build that is fairly expensive i think it was 40 thousand simoleons or something along those lines um yeah got kind of expensive but i think it's a pretty good build i actually took a lot of inspiration off of images that i saw on the internet if you just search up small home or tiny home or anything along those lines i took a lot of paper images and i also decided to do this kind of loft thing that i've been wanting to do for a while i actually had a friend whose father had a house where there was like a little loft at the top where you could look down into the kitchen and I always wanted to recreate something like that in The Sims but I just never really got a chance to do it and I decided now would probably be a good time for this build so I decided to do that. This build is one bathroom, one bedroom. It is quite small but it is quite cozy I think. i pretty sure I made it fairly cluttered and I did put a bunch of like dog bowls around and dog sleeping areas and there's that shelf with the leashes on and everything like that i mainly did that for clutch reasons but it is possible for you to have pets in this house just because i did add those things recently i found myself putting a lot of pet stuff into a lot of my builds because i do have the sims for cats and dogs so i do often put like pet bowls in a lot of my homes and just decorate it with pet stuff so that's something i'm getting way too used to I also did this build after the free update came out with the ceiling fans and the new new couches and the new coffee table. So I used some of that stuff in this build and I really do love the style of it. Um, I think I saw the update when it came out but I didn't see it in my game because I was busy studying for prelims. Um, basically I've just been studying for a while which is why I haven't posted in a while but I do want to kind of catch up on my posting and everything like that just because it's like a personal motivation type thing where I try and post as much as I can and because I did skip a lot of weeks I am hopefully going to catch up I do also have a lot of exams at the end of the year so I don't know how this is going to work but I am surely going to try I do actually have quite a lot of builds kind of saved up I don't know why I didn't release them I think I just didn't have time to edit them and because I had the day off today, I managed to edit like a whole bunch of them. So after this, I have quite a few other builds that I can also release, which is very exciting. Very exciting. I'm very happy about that. Over here, we are just adding in the TV. And I especially love the little table it's on because it just kind of looks a bit makeshift. Um, it looks like that table could have just gotten from any store and the TV is just kind of balancing on it. So I'm pretty sure at this stage, I realized that this wasn't going to be a starter home because the price was just getting way too expensive um, every two minutes I kept checking the price range to try and make sure it was under 20,000 and it just kept going up and up and after a while I was like okay this isn't going to work and honestly I think it was when I added in the second layer where everything just kind of went downhill because walls are expensive in the sims and building two-story houses just it doesn't work I honestly thought this would be the house that would be the starter house but it just wasn't it wasn't meant to be i will finally work on my starter house eventually but now is not the build instead i decided to make this build one of those kind of small cozy builds where there's just like a lot of decorations and it's just very customized so it really gives those lived in kind of vibes over here by this type of lofty area we are putting the bedroom and there wasn't a lot of space to add like closets and stuff like that i've noticed because it is quite a small build so i think the only actual closet we have is that one in the corner over there i did try and add a walk-in wardrobe in the bottom bathroom that didn't work as far as i remember i know there's a way to do a two by two bathroom to make it actually work but i couldn't get it to work i think it was just the shower placements if i remember it's like you couldn't get into the shower with the way the walls were and I couldn't change it because there was a window there and it didn't make sense so I just ditched the whole walk-in wardrobe idea but that's something that like I was considering I'm pretty sure I cut it out because it took me forever to do and I just kind of stuck with having that type of shower bathtub in the corner over there 
so that wasn't always there I kind of just added that afterwards because the walk-in wardrobe didn't work but anyway the only wardrobe we have is upstairs and it's like that tiny little drawers thing so this house isn't the most realistic in that way just because you know I would think that you would need a lot more wardrobes but yeah it's a nice build I like the build I think the exterior of the build actually turned out quite well. I think it went a lot with just the kind of theme I was going for. There's a lot of just greenery everywhere and I'm pretty sure at this stage I just accepted that I was not going to have this as a starter home and instead this was just going to be a tiny home. So I do kind of spend more money on things because I'm not as careful with money. So we do add in a pool and I know two things that are quite expensive in The Sims are building walls and building pools so at this stage I just kind of gave up and I was like you know what this is gonna be the best small house ever until I decide to make another one because <laughs> I love my builds um, and over here we're just adding a bit of a backyard area I did want somewhat of a backyard there's not a lot of lawn space but we do have like pet stuff and there's like a little sleeping dog I don't know what you call it right now like a little dog bed at the backyard so that is somewhere where the dog can sleep there wasn't enough space inside the house which just shows how much clutter I actually put but yeah there's like a little pet bed outside so hopefully if you do like move a family in here I would think that you would pick a dog breed that isn't naturally athletic that is more on the lazy side and just kind of lays around because there's not much of a yard for the dog to run in and that's just cruel so <laughs> Realistically, I think you would move in more of like a lazy type of dog into this atmosphere if you were to have a dog. Um, I guess you could have a cat as well. I don't know. I'm not the biggest fan of cats. I just never really got the whole hype thing. So I had a dog in mind. A lot of my builds, I have dogs in mind instead of cats. Because personally, I'm more of a dog person. We have like a ton of dogs and by a ton, I mean four. So I definitely normally have dogs on the mind rather than cats. In the yard there is just going to be a bunch of shrubbery and a few accents everywhere i think we will put in a few seating areas as well just so you can kind of sit outside and have a nice day in your yard you can go for a swim in the swimming pool and in the little deck area that we have at the backyard i think i put in like a barbecue stand so you can have like a barbecue here as well i didn't put it outside just because i felt like it would have been nice to have it a little bit undercover so I decided to do that instead I also did this build when was it it was quite a while ago I took a day of studying and I just kind of ended up doing this house build but I didn't have much time to actually do a voiceover um, for it so I don't actually remember everything that's in this build um, same with the other builds I literally did them all very close to each other and then I took like a month off just to study and looking back on it I'm just like wow okay I did that that's very interesting but yeah I think we're gonna put a table next to the barbecue no maybe perhaps I don't remember okay so I actually looked at the screenshots quickly I like paused the video and looked at the screenshots because I don't know what's going on in my own build and that's kind of scary and I remembered a lot more we did add in that little alcohol stand thing I don't know what you call it to be perfectly honest but I did add this that into this build just because it was part of the wall decorations and I thought it would kind of just suit this build just for a relaxing time in a small house you could just grab something drink it outside or whatever I'm not the biggest fan of alcohol but I put it in anyway just for the sake of the build I put my differences aside and put it in for the sake of the build over here we are going into the screenshots where you are seeing the house from a bunch of different angles I really love how the bedroom is kind of at the top and you can look down from it and you can also see it from the bottom to the top that is just something that reminded me a lot of my old friend and how her father's house was because for the longest time I've wanted to do that in one of my builds and I finally got a chance to so that is the build I hope you guys enjoyed it if you did remember to hit that like button and comment down below for which videos you would like to see me do next Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.